Hello once again AP students, this is Mrs. Politsky and I have your chapter 11 free response question. Shane is a 10 year old boy with a 140 IQ. He has two brothers. Shane is also a champion swimmer and an honored banjo player. Explain each concept and discuss how each may be applied to Shane's intelligence. So we're going to look at giftedness, Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences, heritability, the WISC, and social influences of intelligence. So let's start with letter A, giftedness. Uh, this is a label given to a person with an IQ of 130 or above. And Shane, because of his 140 IQ score, would probably be classified as gifted. Letter B. Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. Uh, in Gardner's theory, uh, this supports that there are seven types of intelligences or seven ways to be smart. And one of those happens to be um, kinesthetic and another happens to be musical intelligence, intelligences. Letter D, heredi or C, heritability. Heritability is the amount of variation within a group raised under the same circumstances that can be attributed to ge genetic differences. Uh, Shane, um, his IQ of Shane's brothers cannot be predicted from the information that we have, but if we would have those numbers, we might be able to um, basically sum up that maybe there was uh, a certain genetic uh, variability here. Letter D, the WISC. What is this? Well, this is part of the Weschler test. Um, this test, for the most part, was designed to measure intelligence in children, and Shane's score most likely was probably determined as a result of this test. Finally, letter E, social influences. Uh, this includes things like health, education, nurturing environment, IQ is not solely determined by environment or genetics. Shane's intelligences are developed through social influences, including his parenting and his interaction with his siblings. Thank you very much.